Here is drone video as it moves around a Fort Lauderdale neighborhood. All that water everywhere has made it into plenty of homes, unfortunately, and that has forced hundreds of people into local shelters, according to the city of Fort Lauderdale. However, though, even shelters have had problems. An entrance to a Red Cross shelter in Holiday Park had just too much water for people to even get to that shelter last night. You know it's bad when you can't even get into We're the shelter. To the shelter, right. And happening today, by the way, the city of Fort Lauderdale's Mayor Dean Trantellis is going to hold a news conference conference at the Red Cross shelter offering updates on efforts here to help our city residents. CBS News Miami's Trish Kristakis is live at the Red Cross shelter in Holiday Park where many people are sleeping this morning. Trish, how's it looking there? Because we saw that there were some problems for folks actually getting to that shelter. Yeah, well, luckily right now the ground in the area to get into the shelter is dry, but I will say it was a little difficult for my photographer and I to actually get into this area. There was probably just under about a foot of water to get around this area. So I can imagine how packed with water this was yesterday. As you can see right now, the entrance is very dry. There's a sprinkler going off, but right now it's looking good. So if they're still accepting people, I actually just spoke to the woman who's inside there and she said there's about 32 people right now and they're accepting people throughout the night, throughout the morning, continuously. So if you are in need, they are still accepting people at this Red Cross. Now, this has been a domino effect from that terrible rainstorm yesterday that we're all, all morning seeing that devastation. Let's take a look at this from yesterday morning slash afternoon time where there was hundreds of people yesterday just displaced from these storms. Now, the video you're looking at now is from the swamp buggy we were on yesterday while a couple of guys were driving through trying to save people and their pets. Now, this devastation is truly terrible. Take a look at these neighborhoods. They look more like lakes, you guys. These local cars, homes completely destroyed. All these people yesterday telling me that they have never seen something like this. And taking a live look back out here at the Red Cross again, this is the entrance where they're taking people in. If you need anything, like we just mentioned, I spoke to the woman who is here um, bringing people in. She said there's about 32 people right now. It looked like there's a decent amount of space. She said people are currently sleeping in there. So if you need help, if you need resources, you are encouraged to come here. They are accepting people right now. And like Keith had mentioned earlier, the mayor of Fort Lauderdale is going to be here at 11 a.m. today. We'll, of course, be here and bring you the latest information on that. And we'll actually be speaking with the um, Red Cross representative that's here later in the show as well. So please stick around for that so you can give you all the details on how to get help if you need it, which unfortunately many in this area do. Reporting live in Fort Lauderdale, Trish Christakis, CBS News, Miami.